Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, Google Drawings. The top 10 tasks and they'll be done fast, fast, fast. For those interested in becoming a certified Google educator. Number one, create a Google drawing. First off, create a Google drawing. To create a Google drawing, simply go to your drive and from within your drive, select new, Scroll down, go to more, and you'll find Google Drawings right here. Select that, and here you are. Or you can do a Google search and just type in Google Drawings, and here it pops up. Select, and again, you go back to uh, Google Drawings. So that's the second way. Number two, change the drawing size. So here we are and let's take a look and you can see um, we're in a, a new drawing and let's say you want to change the drawing size, the size of this canvas here. Simply go to file, all the way down to page setup and then right here it says standard and maybe you want to make a widescreen, press OK and now you can see it's a little bit wider. Maybe you want to go back to it. You go back to page setup and you can go back to standard. Click OK. And if you notice here, it also has a uh, custom. If you want to customize however you would like to make the canvas. Number three, add lines and shapes to a Google drawing. Now let's say you would like to add lines or shapes. Simply go to insert. Here are some lines. You can have a normal size line. You can always change the width of that line right here. Make it a little bit thicker. You can change the color, make it red. Um, you can also insert other types of lines. For example, maybe you want actually a curve and every time I right click, it'll help me curve some more, some more, and some more. Okay, you can also insert shapes. Go to insert shape and they give you a bunch of different shapes. Let's say an equation, um, let's say you want to insert, insert a triangle doing a geometry lesson. There goes your triangle. Number four, add both text and word art to a Google drawing. Now let's say you would like to add some words. You can go to insert and um, there's actually a text box here as well. But let's just say you wanna to go to insert. Here's your text box. Open it up and you can change the size. Okay. And you can use this here if you wanna kinda Maybe make the words go down a bit. And now you kind of have the words going vertical down here. You could also insert word art. So you go to insert and go to word art. And let's say you want to say this is word art. This is word art. Okay. Enter. And here you have the word art and you can actually um, change the colors yellow, make it blue, change the outside, make it a little bit red, a little bit thicker. Number five, upload images to the drawing. Now let's say you would like to um, upload some images. You can go to insert, image, and you can get them from the, the computer, the web, your drive. Now let's say you want to get one from the web. Let's look for an image of uh, a lion. This image, or maybe you want this image. Go to insert. And 
and there it is. You could also insert from your computer, image, go to upload from computer, and maybe I want to upload an image I made of uh, Google Forms, the icon. There you have. Um, and when you're uploading images from your computer, you go to insert, image, upload from your computer. You can go to uh, your desktop, you can get to your drive from here. Uh, different types of folders, uh, whether it be image folder, there's a bunch of stuff. Number six, format shapes in the drawing. So now let's go back to some shapes. You want to uh, format some shapes. So let's create a rectangle and we'll fill it orange and we'll give it a border and that's basically formatting the shape you can go to format here again you can change the fill color which is formatting you can change the type of lines for example let's see you want to have a dash line there you go Number seven, order different items. So now if you take a look here, you have a Google Forms uh, icon image, a, parallelogram, a, a parallelogram, and a, and a kind of half circle, a half moon. And if you notice, the, the half moon is in the front. It's in front of all these items. Okay. Now let's say you want to take this and you want to move it behind the parallelogram. You would click on the half moon, go to Arrange, Order, and send backwards and sending backwards means you send it back one so now you notice it's behind the parallelogram and maybe you want to send it all the way to the back again go to arrange order send to back now it's all the way in the back okay now maybe you want to take the parallelogram and move that to the back arrange order send to back now the parallelogram is all the way in the back right it's behind uh, the half moon and it's behind the Google form sign and you can bring it all the way up front arrange order again you go to arrange order and bring to the front and there it is in the front number eight align and rotate different items Now, when you take a look at these items, you can always rotate them. And when you rotate them, you're going to see at the top this circle right here. This is what you'll use to rotate it. And it's great because it gives you the degrees of rotation. So, for example, this is 180 degrees. This is exactly 90. You can rotate this as well. Same spot. Click right here. Rotate it. And something else very interesting is you can align these items okay you can align them so to align these items you want to select all three at the same time so now all three are selected go to arrange and let's say you want to align them vertically to the middle let's say click click middle and there they are they're all aligned vertically in the middle um again you can do different things let's say you want to do horizontally to the center look at that um, arrange at the bottom okay these are all different things right you could move them anywhere you want maybe you want to move them all to the to the top let's say arrange align horizontally and um, align vertically and let's put them all at the top there you go they're all at the top number nine Insert links. Now let's say you would like to insert a link. Okay. So for example here, um, let's say you want to link to a video on parallelograms. This is a parallelogram, so let's rotate it. And you would like kids to click on this and, and get a link that will take them to a video to parallelogram. So you select this. Go to insert. Link. Okay, 
and you paste the link here. So I'm going to leave this open and go to YouTube. Share. Copy this link. Control C. And I'll press Control V to paste that link in here. Apply. And now when students select this, they'll see the link down here. You can click on the link. And even though it's a parallelogram, you click on the link for parallelograms. And here they're learning about parallelograms and things like that. And number 10, convert and download to different types of files. And lastly, let's say you want to convert this drawing to a different file. Simply go to File, go all the way down here to Download As. Here are a couple different options. You can do it as a PDF, you can download it as a JPEG, PNG, or an SVG, a, scal a scalable vector graphic. And here's what it looks like as a JPEG. Okay, so this is the JPEG, 